in DC alone, 20,000 returning citizens are coming out each year. Every person that's involved with Clean Citizens has been incarcerated, man has made mistakes. It's a hard knock life, you know. We go through more than a little bit. People that's coming home, like myself, when they have no opportunities like that. I think Clean Citizens provides that safe space, that safe opportunity to transition into society. Sturdy. Despite people thinking that we're bad people, we do good work. And you know, maybe more people notice the good work than realize that we're good people too. True reality, we are our brother's keeper. That's what we're here for, to serve each other. I think Incisions is about proving people that you can succeed, that you're not a lost cause. It's a rebirth. easy to get into trouble. People, you know, just be scared to mention that they were in. It's really hard when you're coming back and you're applying for jobs and you have something on your record. They don't even want to give you a call back. You know, they'll just look at the question and say, oh, you were convicted for this, and they'll just turn away. But at the time and time and time again of hearing those, you just start to think that a yes will never come. We just need to get a foot in the door and somebody to take a chance. I wouldn't say I didn't have faith in myself, but clean decision was, you know, gave me some support. You know, showed me that somebody else was paying attention. And that was really helpful to me. Clean decisions definitely gave me an opportunity to put something good on my resume. A person might not think it would be such a big of a risk to take a chance on me after this, so that's what I'm most appreciative of. We know what it is to come out of prison or jail, but you gotta catch up in some sense. You gotta get housing, you gotta get stable. All those type of things is rough for somebody coming out. Clean Citizens is a company that I started for returning citizens, uh, just like myself. We do that by, number one, giving you a job. Number two, giving you a navigator or a mentor, a personnel that has been in the system and has been outside of the system for about three years. The last but most important thing, we give you a culture, supportive community, unconditional love, unconditional support. In reality, failure is going to come wherever you go in life. How do you get that together, stand back up and do it again? That's what we're about. Something like that. <laughs> All right. How you feeling? All right. All right. All right. Okay, I'm going to take a walk around with me. Show me. This company is family for me. Community is, is what we thrive for. Because everybody wants to belong to something. Everybody wants to be a part of something. But most importantly, everybody wants their name to be mentioned in something that's successful. Good morning, gentlemen. All right, good morning, good morning. How are you? All right. You got Old Man River. You know you got to start from inside to out. Okay. Backboard. Backboard. I like structure, so starting with the agenda, you want to get started? Quick check-in, 15 minute tops. Um, how we doing uh, this morning, personally and overall? It's my son's first birthday. I'm excited about that. I uh, also worried that I'm getting old and that time is uh, running out. <laughs> uh, as far as my morning goes, I'm, I'm an eight. Overall, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. Uh, this man has a few health issues I need to take care of. My primary goal for this year is to focus on growing clean decisions, landscaping business. I want to be able to overtake Bonneterra Corporation over as far as the number one uh, River Smart contract in D.C. area. So you don't have to do those things. Yeah. You could yeah. just put an arrow to that line saying chain link fence, and that's totally oh. fine. 18 feet. So you want to measure the house and then we can get the square footage, okay. see how big the rain garden has to be. The audit report will tell you how many downspouts we have on the property. When you have somebody that you can ask questions to, that knows the field and are able to sit down, take their time out of their day and explain you the work, you can't get there a lot of places. 
I've been here about um, maybe like three, three and a half months now. But when you know you got something to do and it's productive, it keeps you out the way, keeps you going, and it makes you want to get up and do something. Makes you feel good about yourself. It's, it's some things that happen in, in life that people don't understand. But these guys know where you come from and what you're going through, so you can relate to them. And when you got people you can relate to, you're comfortable with them. They keep me motivated to want to do more and do better. Not just settle, not just be like, okay, this is enough. Nah, keep going, take it up a notch. Do, do a little more, do a little more. And it helps as a person, it helps build discipline, patience, and then it helps you interact with people better. After a while, everybody's shutting doors in your face, shutting doors in your face, and you give up. And so for a minute, I gave up, but then I got this opportunity. Got me right back on my feet, my, got, me, got me wanting to get up and go do again. Got me wanting to be something again. You know? And I appreciate it, because they didn't have to do it. They didn't have to, not at all. They did not have to. And I'm grateful for the opportunity. I love it. Can't live without coffee. Uh, we're headed to a pancake Saturday. Um, and have a good old time. As long as Uncle Bill blesses with his presence, we'll be all right. Yo, yo, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this party started. It's Saturday. Welcome to Pancake Breakfast. My name is Will, I'm your host. We love to do these community events to get people together, especially the kids, returning citizens, and we mingle with the community. Thank you all for being here. For returning citizens, that wall of comfortability, you know, we're comfortable amongst each other, but like in this type of setting, we're not. And when people are open to just conversation, I think the world is a better place sometimes. How was it to sleep in a real bed after how many years? 24 25. years? Oh man. <laughs> Sleeping in a real bed at 25 years was like awesome. So when you get into like a a plush bed with a foam mattress, man, I, I slept it. like a baby. I love it. I slept like a baby man, right? every time I got in the bed. You know what I mean? It's not about the food at all, man. It's about showing support and being around People that understand, I mean, the walk of life that I went through, I mean, it's, it's going to help me with my transition and make my walk in society much easier. I mean, help me grow. We were raised in an environment where to emotionally express yourself or seek help is a sign of weakness. The biggest thing is the support system. Well, Uncle Bill step in here. Let's give him a round of applause, man. I made my mind up. I did not want to be involved in the streets or any kind of activity that can potentially put me back in. The feeling of being important for one is super dope. Feeling like you matter. That trust is very important to build. To have that trust is probably the most important thing at all, period. Do I feel like I belong here? <laughs> It's the sky blue. <laughs> of course, I feel like I belong here. Where else would I be? Clean Decisions is trying to create transitional housing in D.C. and to start that journey from the bottom up and to educate returning citizens what it takes. Y'all know my struggle when I didn't have nothing, yeah, I had to move that muscle. Always had to work hard, yeah, never buckled. Life is an everyday tussle. They can ultimately pick a trade from the house, so we will create huge opportunity jumping from jobs to careers. That's 100% needed to stay out here, stay out in society. What keeps them motivated, I think, is the future that now is presenting itself. Like you're in a position where you can succeed. Rise from the ashes, yeah, like the phoenix. Got the battle scars from the streets, yeah, I mean it. Anything you think you saw, yeah, man, I seen it. It's good to be home.
all good man right here trying to work, man. I understand the trials and tribulations which you go through, everyday life. I've been there, I've done that. And for me to get to this position, I had to work hard. Just because you messed up, that doesn't mean you give up. And I'm a firm believer of that because I messed up many a times in my life, but I never gave up. I always had a, a vision that I was gonna be successful doing something, but I didn't know where. My heart is near and dead. To DC residents, I try to put forth an extra effort and get them to see the clear picture, the bigger picture that, you know, it's something on the other side of the fence. Sometimes we be our biggest enemy because we had so much doubt in ourselves. I was in programs and I didn't really trust the process. I had some people that believed in me more than I believed in myself. And that gave me the courage to do better, want to do better, want to strive better. We want you to come inside of our apprenticeship learn the trade, learn the skills, and, and grow within the organization. Once you're an asset to the company, you will grow within the company because they figure that you are part of the team. You're only gonna get out of life what you put into it. The thing is, is, is you ready for what we have to offer? Is you ready to take the next step? Is you really ready to get what you need to go? Thank you, sir. So we've served about 45 to 55 individuals each year. I would say 14 out of the members that are employed right now have been out more than two years. We won our three. Usually they go back in within the first year. Rejection. <laughs> and we're going on our fifth year. Most of the people that are working with us have been with us from the beginning or the second year. Hey, there you go. I, I got you. Somebody's getting released today. To have that fear that they don't want to say, I don't know what to do. I want to spread the word of clean scissors to get to that individual and say, hey, you are worth something and that you are better than what society has considered you. Hey, thanks for watching. We know the news can be a bummer sometimes, but at Freethink, we're trying to tell inspiring stories of people changing the world. If you want to see more of that, subscribe.